Hey YouTube, this is Patrick and I am back with another edition of Heavy Therapy. With this video, I want to discuss and if I own physical copies, show bands that got me in to my favorite genre, which is death metal. You know, I'm a late bloomer when it comes to getting into proper extreme music, I would say, but I would also be the first to defend my journey towards the underground. So briefly, I was a teenager when bands like System of a Down and Chevelle and Breaking Benjamin came out. So hard rock that was bordering on some sort of metal, pop metal, alternative metal, new metal. What I knew I loved was aggressive, heavy guitars. I liked harsh vocals. I liked dark, brooding atmosphere. And that was what my 14 year old brain realized was my type of music that I was interested in finding. Fast forward a couple years, I discover right a metalcore scene that was blooming, blossoming, bands like As I Lay Dying and Unearth and Bleeding Through and Under Oath. And again, what I was realizing I was really into was heavy, aggressive, metallic music. Now I understand the subgenres, the genres a little bit more clearly. I know what metalcore came from. I know what hardcore sounds like that's not tied to metal. I know what actual metal sounds like. I know what uh, more of the history now. But so I was thinking back, I was like, now I clearly can say that death metal is my favorite genre. But I was trying to think back about 12 years ago, 12, 13 years ago, to some of my first discoveries of what I would come to learn is death metal. And so that's kind of what I want to discuss today. So I actually will start with those metalcore deathcore bands that uh, I now understand as uh, putting me on my journey towards um, underground extreme metal. So I'm thinking of the likes of the Red Chord, All Shall Perish, and As I Lay Dying. These were probably the heaviest bands that I discovered in like in my late teens, early 20s. And I can't really put them on too much anymore. The production issues. Uh, the production is too loud, the vocal approach, all of the breakdowns, uh, but I definitely see that they are rooted in death metal, as really dying is rooted in that early in flames, at the gates, melodic European death metal, excuse me, the red chord, uh, hard to, rem probably influenced by Bands like Cryptopsy and Suffocation, but also probably the Dillinger Escape Plan and Converge. But, you know, proper proper musicians, proper guitar players, you know, pro amazing drummers and all of these bands. So I would be lying if I didn't say that some of those deathcore bands put me on my journey. And I'll say the Red Chord, As I Lay Dying, and All Shall Perish with three of my favorites growing up. Then I remember that I was trying to download some albums illegally, right? Trying to find all these, it was the MySpace era. And I remember I was subscribed to Decibel magazine and somewhere I ran into this album, which is 2009 Behemoth. Evangelion, and 
I remember buying it on CD. And I just remember loving it. I remember going for walks, listening to this album, and also realizing that I don't really have anybody to talk to this talk um, talk talk to this about because my friends at the time were not into they were into you know some heavier stuff, but not not this. Whatever this was, this is going to be my secret. This was going to be. Just something that I knew that I liked and wanted to get into more. So Behemoth was one of the first death metal bands I've ever discovered. And I, yeah, this album in particular was a catalyst. So next up, I remember finding this band on MySpace. Well, actually, I should say it's coming back to me. So another important way of discovering music was compilations I was going to fye in the mall and i found the hell's headbangers compilation and it had in flames and arch enemy and i loved in flames and arch enemy ever since i heard their songs on that compilation and yeah i really got into in flames i really got into that middle era of arch enemy to this day, I do not like anything either of those bands have put out for In Flames, basically anything after 2008 and Arch Enemy. I just totally stopped following them. Don't like anything I've heard since the Doomsday Machine, probably. But In Flames, Arch Enemy, the Hell's Headbangers, is that what it was called? The MTV compilation. Not the distro. Is that what it was called? Headbangers Ball. Wow, that's what it was called. So, the Headbangers Ball just a uh, compilation. In Flames, Arch Enemy. They got me into death metal. So I went to see In Flames live, and they had an opening band that had just put out this album, The Way of All Flesh, and the band is Gajira. And <sighs> Gajira completely stole the show. You could hear like a pin drop during their set. And it was just because everyone was captivated by Mario's performance on the drums. And I was just looking around like, is everybody experiencing this the way that I am right now? Holy shit. Seeing Gajira live, it was the heaviest, it was melodic, it was powerful, aggressive, perfect. And so I knew I had to go back, go home and check out this band, Gajira. I don't even remember In Flames at that show, not at all. And Gajira, The Way of All Flesh, quickly became one of my favorite albums. Now I understand this is progressive death metal and yep one of my favorite albums of all time tracks like Ouroboros Ouroboros is my favorite Gajira song ever A Sight to Behold is some of their more experimental yet heavy as hell songs and then this this back half right The Art of Dying Esoteric Surgery Acuity, Wolf Down the Earth, The Way of All Flesh. I mean, seriously, this is just one of my favorite albums of all time. And Gajira was one of my early discoveries, progressive death metal. And just, yeah, glad, grateful that I discovered this band. Okay, so another discovery around, again, 12 years ago at this point. I think was a band that again I don't recall why how I discovered this band maybe it was an ad in decibel maybe it was a review but I'm talking about this album and this band this is ulcerate with the destroyers of all this is actually a reissue 2021 I think maybe 2020 season of mist
not Season of Mist, Willow Tip. This is an alternative cover, not my favorite because I prefer the original, the OG cover, but Ulcerate play this dissonant, ambient, experimental avant-garde death metal. They're basically a subgenre in their own at this point. You can think of bands like Portal, Golgothan Remains, Black Death Cult. Um, I'm actually not that familiar with Gorguts. Maybe they did they did this style first, apparently. But Ulcerate for me was one of the first extreme, truly extreme underground bands I've ever ran into. Loved them instantly. I love how uh, existential it was for me. Suffocating. Dreadful. Real. Inevitable, right? The sense of doom of the destroyers of all is exactly a perfect name for this band. We call this Disso Death now. But again, avant-garde, dissonant death metal, ulcerate. Sounds great on great, great on vinyl. I know Ulcerate is notorious for uh, producing and mixing their records quite loud, but the some of that goes away when you get the vinyl, which is awesome to hear the separation of the um, of the mix of the tracks of the um, of the um, uh, guitar, bass, drums, and vocal tracks. Ulcerate, one of my first discoveries of underground death metal, and there's just something about um, everything they do that sits well with my brain. And yeah, Ulcerate. And I actually, this might be a little off the wall answer because they're not death metal themselves, but this band helped me get into, uh, I'll say the band first, so Converge helped me this is one of the first bands that i listened to where i immediately i kept going through their discography and the vocals jacob bannon's vocals were really hard to get into and it just never stopped me because of the musicianship the creativity the dynamism and converge helped me in general care a little bit less about vocals which sounds kind of crazy. I mean, I, metal fans understand that, I'm sure. But now I love Jacob Bannon's vocals. But they were hard to get into for me, and it just didn't matter because the band was so good. And again, now I love the vocals, and I love the music. But Converge helped me get into more underground music. And... Yeah, that's just a fact. And this was a fun video to record what are some of the uh, earliest death metal bands that you discovered or what is what was your pathway into the underground uh maybe i'll record something in the future that is similar to this um regarding other other bands along my my journey but um yeah this this was fun to record and check out these bands if you haven't heard of them and um yeah thanks for watching and talk to you all later bye